What's up everyone? It is Friday, it is our final big event session before World Strongest Man. We have the Hurricane, Harry Stoughton joining us mm -hmm. for our events day, so it should be good. We've got my protein doing some filming as well, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, really excited. What have we got today, Tom? Event day today. Yeah, we've got log. Oh, no grip, actually, which is a shot. So, log, sorry. Yoke into a loading thing, loading, power stairs, and stones. Is that everything? Boom. And then a yoke for a set, a single yoke as well. So, yeah, it should be nice and easy. We're already doing like one set of top sets for everything as well. So, once you know, we warmed up and everything's in place, it should be quite quickly today. So, all good. So, we will get started. Excited? Yeah, I was excited. Okay. See you on the dance floor. press today, first event, we are now warming up on the, the metal log which is 90 kilos. We'll do 90, 110, 130, switch to the big wooden one which is 140, do a rep at that and then we've got one set at 150 for eight reps today. So that's the the one working set we're doing with the log. Um, yeah, and then, and then we'll go up to the warehouse and get on with the other events. How's the transition been between uh, max log and log for reps, basically? Yeah, pretty pretty straightforward, really. You know, uh, if you're working off percentages, 150 for me is is still quite a low percentage. Um, so it's been good. It's just getting that cardiovascular um, fitness up. That's all it is for me. You know, so that's why we're doing these high rep stuff. So um, you know, last week we were hitting six reps with it very easily. This week we'll do eight reps with it. Um, and then next week I'll be world's strongest man, and we'll do whatever we have to do to win the race, uh, win the event. Sorry. Three reps. Two, three. Bye.
Oh, yeah. I can turn you prank on it now. I can turn you prank on me. Give me oysters. Really? Well Apparently, the blood loves the da. Um, an allergy screen for me. And it came back with me being allergic to oysters. I normally. Oysters are an aphrodisiac, for those who didn't know. I like to take an oyster, <laughs> slurp it down. Tom is allergic to nothing, apart from Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> See just in that, when you're there, the elbows have splayed out. Yeah. That's why you're struggling slightly to lock it, it out. Stops. Just keep them packed in. Yeah. Wow, that was a uh, was decent. Eight reps for 150. Yeah, not bad. There's no one. I'm not going to say that. We're training hard for a walk press for apes, that's all we're doing. What anyone else does is up to them. Um, but yeah, feeling good. Um, that's just that's me recovered now. Um, ready to go on to the next event. So it's just trying to get that recovery as quick as we can. So um, 
Yeah, really good pressure from Tom as well. I think that's going to be a good event for the both of us. Tommy? Well, I never felt, I know how Luke feels when he farts halfway through a session. Anything. I need to do that. I need to do that. stone all over there, guys. Oh, it stinks, didn't it? Oh, impressive. That was a log. Yeah, the log was good. I think I did a bigger log in the toilet than I did above my head. <laughs> Squeezing that out was harder than doing eight reps. Um, yeah, eight reps, 150. Very good. I think I'll, you have to realise that uh, nine reps is the world record for me and Luke, and that's when we peaked. We're not peaked yet, uh, and we're hitting eight reps like that easy. So, yeah, I mean, it's tonight, it's in a qualifier, and we're going to have some fun with this. No one in the world's going to do more than six reps in this, 100%. So, yeah, all good. Um, Jubbly do, as they say, on to the next one. What is the next one? I don't know, we'll see what happens there. I think it's either loading or yoking to loading. We'll do loading first, I think, yeah. Loading. The Pretender, how was that, bro? Yeah, it was good. I just uh, did a couple at one, 110, I think it was. Um, I was, uh, there was not really any set, set kind of plan for for log today. I wasn't, wasn't meant to do it, so it was more like fun, you know, and just just kind of feeling my way into the, the heavier weights. How's training going? Training's good. Um, all, uh, all my lifts are, are going up. Uh, I'm just constantly working on, on technique and uh, technique and form. Um, and uh, yeah, everything's going, going good. Happy with it. Hello, Tom. Hello, mate. Can you give me a Tommy fat? Tom Stoltman is the best in the world at what he does. Fat. What do you do? Sit around all day. <laughs> oh my god. So strong though. Right guys, so we are in the warehouse. We're doing the rest of the events here. First up is loading. I think it's three implements we're going to do today. Uh, one set, is it? One set to like 12 meters. Okay, then the next event is sandbagging to yoke. So we do one set of sandbagging to yoke, and then we do yoke by itself for one, one single as well. That's two events, and then we do power stairs and at the stones to finish. Very good. I'm going to be joining the boys doing uh, their event session as opposed to Dan's got. Um, my specific training program, but I might as well just join in with the boys. It's their last session. Have a bit of fun. Three, two, one, go. Hot potato. I thought he was going like, to drop the phone and it would go into James, which would have been very nice. Jesus, that was quick. Fast feet in that. <laughs> Channeling minor Sonic. Right, who's next? You next? Filipino Oaks next. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Right, so that was the loading done. So yeah, it felt really good, felt nice. So loading's finished, we are now on to... So this mimics, this, this one that we're doing now mimics the... Um, the tool chest into yoke. So we're doing a 100 kilo sandbag. Just drop it back in the yoke, take it back up. So 400 something kilos I think it is today. Um, so that'll be good, get that done. And then we do one set of that and then we take the yoke back slightly heavier. So we're getting two runs with the yoke in and then we'll go onto power stairs. Have you found out about groups there? No, the groups will be getting announced in, or when we're there on site, so we just got that confirmed, um, which is fine, it's just one of those things. Um, I try not to worry about the groups and stuff like that, um, especially after the last couple of years, I've had really tough groups, so it doesn't really make a difference to me, so my goal is to win the group, no matter who's in my group. Very simple. So, do you want me to do my one and then do the 440? You and Hart. Start with the sandbag. Yeah. To this side. 400 there. 400. So do 440 one. Yeah. But they don't have to warm up then, because they'll just go 400 straight into 440. So I'll warm up just now, yeah. and then you and Harry then could probably, or you can go then. It won't be long. I'll put it straight onto 300. What's the weight, Tom? I'm going 400, so 100k sandbag, 10 metres, throw it, hand it out. What 10 metres, 400. He's walking ready. Here we have the wild albatross. You doing that as well? Not that weight, like. You're looking quick, Tom. Yeah, it feels better. I mean, last week I did it, but I was at a football game the night before and everything felt like slow and everything, but it's nice to get my feet moving. You know, it's the last session of the prep, so let's make it a good one. Log was good. These two events were good, so happy, very happy. So, yeah, um, 440 is moving good, especially after what the two day events before the surface as well. So, I'm very happy, like, very, very happy. Last one, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on.
we finished the loading, we finished the sandbag into yoke, and then we finished the yoke by itself. So basically three events in one we've done. Uh, so after that we're going on to power stairs and then we finish with Atlas Stone. So this is going faster than we thought, you know, it's only one set for each thing, eight, one set for each thing this time, so it's nice and fast, nice and quick. You know, we don't want a volume too high when we've got worlds in a week. This is just to kind of perfect everything, so all good, all good. Talking about speed, obviously you got all of that done in less than half an hour. It's a lot easier at Worlds because it's longer to wait. Yeah, I mean, this is harder than Worlds, obviously. I think with Worlds as well, you don't have six events in what we've been doing. We've been only training for an hour and a half. We've done nearly four events. You don't have six events in like four hours. You know, we maybe do a log press and a yoke and then we have five hours rest to repeat. So, you know, when, we, when we're on to yoke and when we're on to like the power stairs and stuff, we're, we're going to be 100%. You know, there's two events usually two events and you get five hours break another two events so basically every athlete should be basically 100 percent for every event so that training like this training fast i don't really get why straw men maybe train like do an event and train uh, rest only 10 15 minutes because then they're never going to get their fitness up they're never going to get the recovery up and you know we as you've seen today we did a yoke into sandbag and then two minutes later I was doing the 440 yoke whereas at Worlds I'll probably wait in two hours to do that so this is a benefit for myself and look we've always been doing this and yeah it works when you have those long rest periods at Worlds you know well our body's going to be recovered in 10 minutes and we're ready to go again so one more thing um, what do you do between those rest periods I sleep dance or watch or listen to bye bye Miss American Pie I chill out as much as I can Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> How did loading in uh, yoke go? Yeah, really good. Um, feeling quite quick, actually, it was quite nice. The loading felt really nice. The the yoke felt really good. Um, compared to last week, we did a 440 yoke. I just had a little stumble with it, so no stumbles there. Nice and nice and comfortable. Um, and yeah, I, I can go a lot faster than that still as well. So. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited now for the for the events out in Worlds. It should be good fun. Um, so everything still feels quite chilled. Everything's quite still feel quite reserved. Um, I've not kind of switched. So when I switch, I switch, and then the fun will begin. So at the moment, I'm quite chilled, quite happy. But in ten days' time. I won't be so happy, I won't be so chilled. I'll be very angry and frustrated because the energy building up in me will overflow and burn all the other competitors. How was that, bruh? It's good, yeah. 300, I think that's the most I've done on yoke. And it felt, felt good. Um, are we on the track for competing next year? Yeah, everything's looking good. Um, just uh, really enjoying training at the moment. Getting stronger. Learning all the strongman stuff. So, uh, we'll see. Oh yeah. How many holes? How heavy are they? Uh, about 220. Each? Each, yeah. Hopefully the scaffold will hold up.
fork, that's heavy. <laughs> How's the scaffolding, bro? Very well. I'm not dead yet, so. We took her through the world show as man proud. <laughs> well done, GL scaffolding. Call 01349856730. The world's strongest scaffolding. Are you glad that that scaffolding is done for the year? It'd be funny if it just all collapsed now. Um, that looks good. It's just a bigger diameter um, duck box, so that makes it a little bit harder. Obviously, with Tom, he's a little bit taller, so it suits him better for that. But I think the the world's one will be a bit narrower, so that's good. So. Last event, stones. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some work with a 200 today. Um, I think Tom's doing a run. I guess just one stone run in. Um, but I just just want to get comfortable lifting the 200. So I'll do like 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, and then 200 at the end. Um, get a wee feel for that. See how that goes. And that'll be it. Event session done. What do you say? Kind of dirty. What, you are the stones? Stones? <laughs> I mean both. I don't know. <laughs> Let it dry, don't you? Mm -hmm. Warm up then. How's the mobility, Sean? Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> sticky one. Take a sticky one. Take a sticky willy. Take a what? A sticky willy. You're the ones you're running. He has a bit of sass. <laughs> Shut up, my friend, sticky willy. It's like what? It's like my friend, sticky willy. <laughs> Are you running in, Tom? I'll just do one run. We would just do Very nice, very comfy. One motion them all, so yeah, job done. Nice way to end the session. It's much better than last week, anyway. So yeah, nice and easy, nice and 
good. Another chapter. I felt okay, <laughs> but just I was going to pop the 200. I did a little fart. I thought I might have pooped myself, but I didn't. Um, stupid, I had oats before training. Um, but silly. But I felt okay, yeah, happy enough with that. It's, it's fine. Um, the 200 came up off here, no problem. It's just. I could feel it coming, a bit of a stinky one. Is what it is, bruh. Hey. What tip did you give there? Uh, two overextensors. In his first set, he was kind of looking for the bar, but it's very important when you have the stone in your lap, you fully extend, then you look for the bar, because 100% of the time you, uh, you're you going to make it. If you look for the bar, you can hit it and it falls off. And also, don't shovel the uh, stone around him there, because sometimes you can shovel it out, gets in your head. You just want to go over the stone, pick up, and go. Easy. Tons tips of the day. 50 quid, please. Double buy? Yeah. Double bicep. Do it for Carl Moga. Good one. Do it again. Stop you. One more, come on. Come on, let's do extend again. Now throw, good. Stop. 
Stone's done. How are they feeling? Dirty. <laughs> 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 Need to get them a wee clean, but that felt good. Um, just working on rep stuff. Just no. constant keeping the technique. Yeah. I think it's looking pretty good. What do you guys think? Okay. Go on, Sai. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Sai. It hurt my finger. Oh my, oh my, oh Emma won't like my rough forearms tonight. <laughs> and so, the event session is done. World Strongest Man prep is done. How are you feeling? Very good. How are you feeling? Very good. Are you feeling ready to take on the World <laughs> Strongest Man? I'm confident for you guys. <laughs> 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 well, that's it done. So, hope you enjoyed watching us prep for World Strongest Man. Yeah, I mean, it was quite boring, but who cares anyway? We don't care what you think. Thank you guys for subscribing. Myself and Luke are going to be number one and two. Anything else you want to add to that, Mr. Stoughton? Yes, I do actually, because I like to speak. So, oh, oh, no. just to let you know, Simon is going to come out with us to film as much as he can out of World's Strongest Man. We are going to update you as much as we can out of World's Strongest Man. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you want to see how us, Tom and I, and for the future Harry gets on at World's Strongest Man, please subscribe, please comment, please show us some love because you guys are the reason that we can do this crazy sport. So thank you very much for watching. Tom, what do they do? Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Uh, please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling! Ding ding.